Two minutes after 11 o'clock New Zealand Standard Time, 22.2 degrees. I think I win the uh, weather competition this morning. Uh, believe me, the weatherman said 17 degrees. Barbara went conservatively 18 degrees and I went 20. And uh, well, I tell you what, let me do this. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and today we break history yet again. Yes, we're making history. First time ever that we're going all the way over to Puerto Rico. We're going to be catching up with Gene Cabby and the Secret Admirers Society. Believe me, you're going to absolutely love it. But first of all, let me tell you how happy we are to be in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and of course Sony Music, The Orchard, here at Galaxy. <laughs> Another in the artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and Sony Music to watch it. So I tell you what, instead of flopping around and doing everything like that, yeah, and believe me, you know what to do when you go and watch this over on YouTube, don't you? Yes, you do. Yeah, sub, thumb, bell, bingo, literally. Uh, bell, because of notifications, when we have important people like Gene Cabby and the Secret, Secret Admirers Association coming out of Puerto Rico, uh, thumb, you know what to do with that. Yes, like us, lots, get epileptic with it, and of course... So, you know, subscribe, be a part of the noise. That's the Galaxy family here at Galaxy. Let's get straight into it. Here's Red Blue Skies, Gene Cabby, and the Secret Admirers Association. So <laughs> oh, Sorry. Uh, how are you feeling anyway? You okay? Doing fine. I'm doing fine. How are you? Oh, believe me, I'm absolutely elated to make your acquaintance. I really, really am. Uh, and I really, really love your music. I've got to be honest with you. I'm an engineer. I've been doing not only studio engineering, but also front of house for many, many years now. And uh, I was uh, excited to hear your music. Thank you very much. I'm glad you like it. Glad you enjoy it. We have a new song coming up soon. Okay, well, I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of hoping you'll come back and release it with us. No, I, I, I mean, I, we can do that. You know, actually, we have a pre-mix. Uh, I'm going on Sunday with my brother to do a little twinkling with the mix and just to make sure that everything is okay in order to do the final master. Nice, nice. Because, uh, believe me... Uh, <clears throat> Not everybody gets a chance to have an interview here at Galaxy, if you know what I mean. We literally, uh, in every country of the world, Engl every English-speaking country anyway, uh, so we're hugely busy. And to be able to get an interview with us, it's based in, on the merits of the music, you know what I mean? If it ain't good, it ain't going to be played here at Galaxy. So uh, i got to congratulate you. you. You really, really have knocked it out of the park. We love it. We do. Thank you very much. Thanks for your support. Um, Sean Simpson is joining us this morning. Nice to have you on board, Sean. It really, really is. Uh, we love Sean, don't we? Absolutely. Absolutely, we do. Nice to have you on board, Sean. It really is. So, uh, we've still got about a minute and 50 seconds to go. Right. Oof, it's hot in here. That's well, not too bad. Well, what, what is it over there? Is it summertime over there? I beg your pardon? Is Can you read the question, please? Is it summer time where you are? Uh, it's summertime. It's around, you know, yeah. It's around 7 now, 7.10. Okay, now... Our time here. What, but it's summer, you know, it's a bit and hot. What, what's the temperature? Uh, well, it must be today around 85, 86. Okay, okay. We're about I, I check on about I think first because I check out over at the office. I always check the temperature, how the, the weather is going to be because you know we we're in a period now that we have a lot of rain right. and hurricanes and stuff like that. Okay, we're fifty three right now. Okay, 
we're in the middle of winter though, which is really warm for winter. Um, let's go to the desk. Let's have some fun. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and it is such a pleasure today because we're making history. First time ever that we're going to Puerto Rico and catching up with the band there. Uh, Sean Simpson coming out of Rockford, Illinois. Well, thank you very much. Well, um, you guys rock as well over there in Illinois, you do. Absolutely. Today we're catching up with Gene Cabby and the Secret, a Secret Admirer Society and believe me, Love, love, loving this band. I really, really am. Uh, welcome to Galaxy, Jane. Nice to be here with you this afternoon. No, uh, Jean, nice to be... Jane, it is an absolute pleasure to have you on board. It really, really is, my friend. And uh, I do have a fan question straight away. Uh, and uh, this young lady, Katie, says to me, Grant, how long has Jean Cavy and the Secret Admirer Society been going on. How long have you been together? Uh, this year is going to be 25 years in yeah, October. You know, that, that's a, quite a milestone right there, isn't it? Yes, yeah, 25 years now. Wow, wow. And, and that, that, that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think Katie knew exactly that you guys have been around for a little while. That's why she asked the question. But having said that, we opened up the show with Red Blue Skies. Jean, tell us a little bit about this particular track. How did you come to the lyrics? Uh, well, actually, Red Blue Skies is the first song uh, for the first, uh, second album release titled After Hours. You know, it's a reflection on nightlife. Red, blue skies and whatever happens. You know, when the sun's falling down, kind of dusky thin. You know, and all the thoughts and all the plans that you want to do overnight or when you're hanging around, having a drink, you know, meeting someone. That was the whole idea. It's a nightlife song. Very, very cool. And it's to the moon. Now, uh, Brittany, coming out of Flat Rock, Detroit, is asking Jean... How do we get hold of you as a fan? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? Are you a talker? But more importantly, Gene, do you respond? Yes, I always respond to all messages. And I always respond also to all comments too. Whether they're left on my page, or whether they send me a message, either on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, I always take the time to respond. Very, very cool. Now, uh, Roy, coming out of Knightsbridge in London, is asking, how do I get hold of your music? Uh, do you have a website? Do you have somewhere where I can download the music? More importantly, do you have a merch store where I can buy product? Yeah, you can buy the, you can buy your music over at Deezer. You can buy also the music over at Spotify. You can also buy your music uh, uh, over at iTunes, too. We have almost everything there. Uh, YouTube Music, you can always... Check out that too. Google, Google Music. I believe we have songs from the first and second scene releases, Anthem and the Good Pens. We don't have that for hours there yet. We don't have that one yet over there. Um, and Claro Musica. Claro Musica is from the Claro branch of Mobile Phones. They have a music site, and we're also there. Very, very nice. Noni Naki is joining us. Nice to have you uh, back again, Noni. It really, really is. Uh, now, Tell me a little bit about Paper Doll. I love this track. Tell me how you came to this. Well, actually, Paper Doll has a story. You know, uh, back in 2017, we were supposed to be releasing Possession, and we did most of the recording, but then we got uh, Puerto Rico got hit by Hurricane Maria, and the studio where we were working in, 
you know, he was completely lost, got banished, uh, on the equipment and everything, including the original version of the possession. So we thought the son was jinx, and then we decided to go to another studio and had the paper already developing, already started writing in paper doll, and we chose paper doll to do that first and then do possession afterwards. And that was the arena of possession, uh, uh, of, of paper doll, excuse me, of paper doll. It was a, like a substitute for possession. Since we lost we lost possession because of the arrogant thing, we tried another son, and then we settled to do possession afterwards, which we did afterwards anyway. You know, and that was how it came about. Well, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Joining us today is Gene Cabby from the Secret Admirer Society coming out of Puerto Rico. Here is Paper Doll. How are you feeling, my friend? You okay? I'm doing fine. Nice. I'm doing fine. Nice. Uh, you don't need a stiff drink or anything by now? <laughs> no. No? Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, gosh. You wouldn't get any of my jokes either, would he? Well, no. Try them. No. Try them? Yeah. Try them. Okay. No. I don't try think it will. I don't think it will. I really won't. It wouldn't be that. I'm nice. So, um... For everybody that's joining us this morning, it is an absolute pleasure to have you on board. Noni Naki, it's good to see you I'm again. Sweden. It's been a while yeah, coming out of that. Sweden. Absolutely, I remember. I do. And, of course, our good darling Sean Simpson is joining us. Sean, we love you. We really, really do. Ah, oh, dear. It's hot in here. Can we... Uh... Uh, hi, Jorg. Oh, Jorg's joining hi, us. Hi, um, Jorg is a good friend of ours coming out of Germany. And believe me... Hi, he was saying to us Excellent. earlier on this morning, it was about 40 degrees oh, over yeah. there. That's yeah. viciously hot. <laughs> it really is. That's why I was... All around. I'm sorry? There is a heat wave. There's a heat wave all around. There is. You know, like... Look. Yeah, I, I've got to agree with you. There really is. Um, I, I think the, uh, the world is literally uh, suffering a little bit of climate change at the moment, I certainly do. Yeah, we're undergoing through that now. And it's hot in here. Oh, God, just before you... I have a fan it gets, right next to me. It gets cold here in the mornings, it really does. Yeah, I get to work and it was yeah, zero. Yeah, it's on, that's probably about half an hour ago, no. <laughs> A couple of hours, yeah. half an hour ago. <laughs> You're not know, complaining of the heat. Well, I am actually, because the day's heated up, and oh, well, I won the temperature Brad. thing. <laughs> it's 24 degrees oh, right dear. now. Really is. It's only 54, and Gene's at 85. Gene's at 85. Yes, yeah. but I think he's got air conditioning. We don't have air conditioning. <laughs> Opened the window. We have Kiwi air conditioning. Yeah, you all know what that's about. Yeah, it does. So, are you all behaving today? Oh, you're up late, actually, you're. He is up late tonight. Yeah. Well, what are he you doing up at the time of the night do. in Germany? <laughs> Gosh. Dear, oh dear. That was weird. Right, let's play some music. We've still got about a minute to go, so uh, this is cool, this is really, really cool. Keep talking. Keep talking? Yeah. Why do I need to keep talking? You tell I, I, talk. I worry when you're quiet. <laughs> I get told all the time, Jean, that I talk too much, so I just thought mm -hmm. I'd, you know, relax back, be, be chill, be quiet, you know, a little bit, and I get, keep talking, you worry me. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't know what you're going to Good idea. Yeah. <laughs> After we do this interview, my friend, uh, don't go anywhere because we will be taking a few photos and uh, Barbara puts it all together in a big movie for you. That goes on to YouTube. You'll get a copy of everything that we do. Uh, but I've got to ask you, have you ever been a cartoon? I've been, I have, I've ever been what? A cartoon. Mm, no. Oh, well, you're going to be one now. Hang in there, bro. <laughs> Galaxy 
And that's right, you're right, here we go, it's 107 FM, so very, very happy to have you guys joining us today. And uh, Julie from Palmero is asking, uh, during this pandemic thing, I presume you were doing more writing, more recording than doing live shows. But now, are you looking at getting back on stage? Are you doing more touring right now? No, we're not doing touring. We're trying to coordinate a 25-year uh, uh, celebration. I mean, we know regarding the band, you know, like do like a big show uh, at this point because we, between 2020 and 2021, most of the venues were closed because of the pandemic then. And then they opened and then start the pandemic then again they were closed down but now everyone is getting to be active and you know some of the venues are uh, you know opening and they're working again so we're looking forward to that so that that factor held us back you know, from doing live shows okay well, you know the, the, the pandemic holds us back but now you know it's a different scenario and we're planning to do this, this show, you know, we're celebrating the 25 years that the band has existed and has been playing live together. That's huge. It really, really is. Uh, I, I'd be careful. I think there's a stalker behind you. Uh, I think? Yeah, I think there's a lady. There's a lady behind you. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'd be careful of that. Where'd she go? It's a good. She's appeared. Yeah, yeah, believe me, I'd be worried now. Uh, I kind of love... Oh, she's... Oh, okay, very she's nice. Sorry. Ah, there you go. I love, love, loving the um, uh, the stuff in the uh, cabinets right beside you, the little doll space and stuff like that. The girls here have picked that out. Yeah, that does her stuff. It's not mine. Okay, well, believe me, the ladies here in the office that are looking at that, they're loving it. They really, really are. So you tell... There she goes. She's not a ghost. <laughs> she walked straight past you. Uh, now, I've got to ask you, my friend, tell me a little bit about It's Gonna Be Alright. How did you come to this? It's Gonna Be Alright was originally recorded for the After Hours to be released. The version that I sent you, that you're gonna play, is the second version of the song. Because the first version that we did, you know, it was very back to basics, you know, it was very done, I, I, I mean, it was arranged and recorded in a, you know, taking us a modern rockabilly records, but we did a, a, a more developed version, you know, a more band version also, you know, and, uh, and it was suggested by one of the band members that we should re-record that song, and basically, you know, became our first single from 2015 to the state, you know, it was the first song that we released as an individual single. That's really, really cool. And I've got to be honest with you, I play this particular track in my car. I really do. Check this out. Here's Gene Cabby and The Secret Admire Society. And it's going to be all right. <laughs> How are we feeling, my friend? You okay? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Nice, nice. Um, how many countries are on board this morning? 174. Okay, that's not bad. 174 countries are tuned in right now. And how many... Yeah, it's great. We need to be 13. Okay, and 2,213 cities around the world are tuned in. I'll, uh, yeah, that's great. I'll give you the amount of people that have been online listening to this uh, believe me I won't give it to you now because it's still growing it grows minute by minute it really does it's really cool <clears throat> I also shared a promo too okay uh, Facebook Twitter LinkedIn MeWe or where else yeah and Instagram nice nice um, do you have um, uh, merchandise for sale, like uh, t-shirts and stuff like that? No, we don't have merchandise yet. We don't have merchandise yet. Tell you what, when you... We're planning to do stickers. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, look, I... 
Well, uh, when you do get some merchandise, send me a t-shirt. I'd be honoured to be able to uh, wear your brand while I'm doing these interviews. Well, for next time, I could send you have a t-shirt. I could send you one by mail, so you can wear it. There you go. You can tell me the size. You like like large. Uh, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get Barbara to send you the details. Believe me, I'm bound to get it wrong. I am. <laughs> the other day, this um, you see, I, I have somebody who chooses what I wear in these interviews, and she come to me and she goes, "Here, wear this," and it was like a size too small. It really was. And I'm going, oh, I can't do anything in that. She goes, you're buff. I've never been buff in my life. <laughs> never have been. I'm buff. It was a woman's size small. Buff. <laughs> I always get my t-shirts on large size. Yeah. Um, because if I buy they shrunk whenever I wash them. So, you know, I play safe. I go with a large size. Yeah, believe me. Uh, again, I get other people to wash stuff because I'm sure every time I go near a washing machine... That screams. It, <laughs> it screams. Thank you. Yeah, for years I've actually been blaming the washing machine for my clothes where I found out the other day I should have been blaming the fridge. Yeah, the fridge because you're eating too much. Yeah, it's uh, true. It's true. It doesn't eat. I, I said that to my brother. Uh -huh. okay. I said the same thing to my brother. <laughs> Who is in the fridge? He's always eating. Uh, it's middle-aged spread. That's what I tell myself anyway. Oh, yeah, you know. yep. so skinny. Yeah, you can't it's fatten a thoroughbred, can you? <laughs> That's why I like warm countries and warm temperatures. I've got no meat on my bones. I don't <coughs> like cold. Uh, and uh, there you go. Is it going to play? It doesn't give a play. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't do that, but it did it in the end. Anyway, good, good morning, everybody. Nice to have everybody along this morning here at Galaxy 107 FM. And today we're breaking every history for the very first time. We're going over to Puerto Rico, and we've not... We have actually been to Puerto Rico, but we haven't interviewed... An artist over there. We've done a little bit of business, but that's about it. So today we've got Jean Cabby and the Secret Admirer Society joining us, coming out of Puerto Rico. Uh, they're celebrating 25 years together. Wow. This is a milestone, an absolute, you know, you, you just got to congratulate them for hanging in there for that long. They really do. Uh, now, Jean, way back in the day, what actually got you guys together? How, how did you uh, form the band? Uh, actually, it's formed the band because we used to play covers. And we used to play covers for about three and seven years. But the winner written, I got into music. Was, you know, to learn as much music as possible in order to do original music. But you know, you know how it is. This is a business. You want to play in clubs. You want to get known. And so we do the whole cover thing for about seven years. But we had a lot of turnover, you know, uh, people, you know, coming in, coming in and out, coming in and out. And it was getting us slower doing the cover thing. I mean, we could do covers for the whole of our lives. And a lot of musicians do that, and they don't have any problem with that. But we would stray away from the real purpose. So, you know, I had the songs. I kept on writing through that time. So we started doing our first our first recording. We didn't know, we never play songs live at first. You know, we went directly to the studio and we started recording songs. And then afterwards, we started that, we activated, you know, and, you know, as a band, and started doing live shows with the real music. Well, you know something? So pleased that you went into doing originals other than doing covers. Uh, I think everybody really does start doing covers and eventually graduates into doing their own music. Uh, Josh Bynes is joining us. Nice. <laughs> nice to have you back, Josh. Been a while. Really has. And um, how's Karma? Hope she's doing well as well. Uh, in the meantime, tell me a little bit about Sweet Victoria. Uh, Sweet Victoria was recorded for the After Hours CD release. Actually, it was the second song 
and we rehearse for that album. Uh, you know, let, let me say, let, let, let's just play something. Uh, we try to get the Reno band together, but the people that we chose to play with us wasn't causing the must you know. It, it wasn't working out. So my brother and I decided to do arrangements of the, these other songs, which, uh, in which uh, Subitore was included, or at the same studio when we're doing the rehearsals. So Subitore was the second song that we rehearsed right away. And it was one of the first songs that we recorded for that album in particular, uh, the after album to be released. Well, I gotta let you know, Gene, that uh, since we've been playing it, we've had 1,791 requests and climbing. Believe me, people are loving it. They really are. So right here at Galaxy is Gene Cabby and the Secret Admirer Society and Sweet Victoria. <laughs> That's not bad, my bro. That's not bad. People are requesting it like crazy. As people of us playing Sweet Victoria on YouTube, if you go check the Jim Cabby uh, um, YouTube channel, we have like two songs which are recent live performance. Uh, one is for, for Sweet Victoria and the other one is for Right On. Right. So you can find it. It goes a little bit faster because of the adrenaline, you know, and, and that's the stuff that happens live. But it's a good portion. Awesome. Awesome. And, and believe me, folks, I'm pretty sure everybody's going to be on the interwebby thing right now going checking that out. Really, I, I guarantee it. <laughs> There'll be a whole heap of people looking at that. Um, <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, Gene. I'm an asthmatic, and every now and again I... <coughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, dear, dear, dear. So, um, it, it must be interesting uh, doing the job that you do and then uh, trying to make music at the same time. Do, do you get a lot of inspiration out of your day job to make nighttime music? No, I don't have any, you know, I don't get any inspiration from the day job because basically the day job is a completely different thing from whatever I do in music, you know. I usually have a long, this long walks. And that's where I get the inspiration from. Most of the of the songs that I do are written mentally first, okay. you know, and then I come home and pick up the guitar, you know, and pick up the chords and the right chords for me to sing to, sure. you know, because if they're too high, you know, I won't be able to, to do so. But the process of writing is mostly mentally. Okay. You know, I used to have my schedule done. In the mornings, I do the, the promotions. On lunch break, I do the promotions and, you know, answer to people that leave comments or any sort of, the, sort of thing. And then in the evening, I do promotions and share them because, you know, I don't want to have a complete interest with the job, but it's already settled. And since we uh, promote through different networks too, you know, well, that, as soon as it's done, it's done, and I cover that base. Very, very cool. Um, when we go back to... Uh Back to the desk, which is about a minute and a half. I'm going to ask you, actually ask you, because a young lady called Ashley has uh, come in and wants to know who your influences were. So I'm going to ask you that, okay? okay. Don't, don't answer right now, because uh, we'll, get, <laughs> we'll go back to the desk. Um, but Ashley wanted to know about it. And, uh, gosh, it's hot in here. It is. Yeah. Should I open the door? No. She moans
That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and this morning we're heading all the way over to Puerto Rico for the very first time. We're making history, catching up with Jean Cabby and the Secret Admirer Society. Now, a, a young lady coming out of Darwin is asking, her name is Ashley, she's saying, uh, what were your influences, what originally got you into music? What was the big deal? Uh, well, actually, you know, when I listen to the, that's basically like, that's what I made me decide for the music. And then after the Beatles, you know, I know her best. You know, who's, who forced that desire to move up music. You know, it's not like a great band. Now, at the same time, uh, when did you discover that you could actually be a songwriter, believe me, this is a whole different deal than being just a singer or a performer in a band. Uh, being a writer is very, very complicated in its own right. When did you decide that uh, this is the way to go, I can write music? When was that? Well, actually, you know, I got into music because I wrote to write songs. You know, I learned guitar because I wanted to write songs. You know, there's a lot of false spots. Because the first songs that you write, they're you know, good, they're, they're just, you know, like bags, so, you know, you're not going to use them. You know, so it takes time while you realize, okay, these are real songs, you know, the verse, and, 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 and that everything, like, makes sense also. There's a continuity, like a flow film throughout the whole track. You know, and that takes time. You know, that, that, that takes time in order to develop that. Now, I got so it took two or three years. <laughs> I believe, believe me, I understand. Uh, now, i got to ask you, position. Uh, I, here in our country, that's nine-tenths of the law. Have you been caught with position? I mean, we put possession, what happened? Yeah, no, yeah uh, I, I told you you wouldn't get that one. Position, tell me a little bit about your brand spanking new track. Possession. We're about to release it live today. Tell me all about it. How from Possession came about? Yeah. Yeah, well, I had Possession, you know, uh, it had uh, several rewrites. You know, the version that you listen to Possession is not the original version for, for, for Possession. That's all the changes and some other structure. And it was supposed to be like a fast-paced song. But, you know, when I started developing with the band, it wasn't working as a fast-paced song, we have to like slow the tempo in order to make it work because it's very sensual, it's very kind of romantic, you know, it's, it's like a dark ballad. So, you know, and, and that's the flow that we decided to go to or uh, when we decided to record it. The lyrics were pretty easy to write, you know, compared to other songs because it's not a long song, you know, and I love the, you know, the, the and the midnight hour, when the sun is out, it's come. I, I love that part. That was the easy part. But the person took a little bit of time learned to write and, and make sense, you know, the first one with the second one. You know, so as, as a coherence, that, that, that sounds coherent, you know, to make it sound coherent. Well, believe me, uh, we're very, very happy to be able to release it officially this morning. Uh, we have played it a couple of times. Haven't said a lot about it, I've got to be honest with you. And uh, people just wanted to know who, what, when, where, how, when are we doing the interview, when are we releasing it, we're releasing it now. And uh, Wendy Reese, thank you for joining us. Here's Jean Cabby and the Secret Admirer Society releasing Possession. <laughs> How are we feeling, my bro? You okay? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Nice. You don't need a stiff drink or maybe a, you know, so something uh, <laughs> to keep you going? No, 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 no. I I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. I drink on Fridays and Saturdays. Okay. Well, today's Friday it's over here, so, you know. You can have a drink. You can have a drink because it's Friday over here. I'll let you have a drink. Okay. Oh, but then Thursday, you know, I have to go get up early tomorrow in the morning. I had this lady coming over for a document production. I don't have any idea what she's going to do tomorrow with that. You know. So. <laughs>
There were so many documents. <laughs> she has to choose, Kona. I don't know. You know, I have my paperwork, but, you know, he's fed and expected. <clears throat> i got to be honest with you, Gene. I don't drink myself, so uh, I fully understand what I used from. to. I used to drink a lot of wine, but, you know, I had this uh, Piplox thing going on, and the Hanover is awful. The wine in Hanover is awful. And at some point, you know, I couldn't take it anymore. What I drink is like, like beer, you know, that's sad. It's only like four beers per night, you know, and it's spaced out. Because I usually drink while I'm working, you know, just to keep, you know. Sure, sure, yeah. Uh, uh, waste the first. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, um, I, I did that many, 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 many times over the years got really really wasted and went to work and everything like that it didn't work out in the end it really didn't so uh, I gave up and I feel a better person for it I've got to be honest with you I really do we're thankful we're thankful did yes, you say we are thankful that you gave up yeah well you know, <laughs> I, I think alcohol brings out the other side of people you should can, go to sleep can make you a very very nasty person oh, really not right. you go to sleep. I see a lot of it me, I go to sleep. Yeah, you're okay. right. You know, okay. I, I'm a passive drinker. When I drink, I just pass out. <laughs> I go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. I have a drink song on my playlist, Spotify playlist that I got from one station in England. I don't remember the title, but it was like, "What's up, Toto? Rock the day, rock the day." It had that something. Oh dear, dear. Well, a lot of my friends used, used to wonder, a lot of my friends used to wonder, you know, when I got married, you know, how the heck I managed to have kids? I says, I gave up drinking. They went, yeah, I've got to wonder about that, because every time you drank, you went to sleep, the wife wouldn't be very happy with you, would she? <laughs> I was active with the white wine thing until 2011, and then afterwards I dropped it. Because, yeah. I mean, it, it was making, you know, it, it was making um, it damage, you know, the, the reflux thing got very bad. I mean, at one point, it burned out my vocal cords, Ooh, wow. the acid. Ooh. Um, right, we're going to wrap it up right now, right. but don't go anywhere just yet. We've got a couple of things we're going to do right after this, okay? So hang yeah. in there. Oh, and thank you very much for uh, coming and having an interview with us. Thank you for your meditation, man, and come on, I need to go. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, and this morning, uh, releasing for the very first time position from... Uh, Gene Cabby and the Secret Admirer Society coming out of Puerto Rico, making history today. We've never been there to interview an artist before, and it is such a pleasure to meet up with Gene Cabby and talk about his music. It really, really is. Uh, but in the meantime, we are going to have to wrap this up right now. So uh, please don't forget, join me between 5, 5.30 and, well, actually, no, tomorrow's Saturday. Hello. i got a day off. I forgot about that. I will see you so on Monday on between 5, 5.30 in the morning and this time. Join me then, but have a very happy and successful weekend. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And no, if you do, do well, yeah, own up do to anything. it, okay? You're right here at Galaxy. Have a good day. Another indie artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and Sony Music The Orchard.